Hey, welcome back to this episode with Manny from Tropical Glitz. And on this episode, we're talking about pearls, all the pearls we have to offer on our website. So the biggest thing is we're going to go into details about the different pearls we offer and the great effects you can achieve using our products together. So stay tuned. Made in day, baby. Ooh -wee. All right. So everybody always wants to know what's the difference between our translucent pearls and color pearls. And what are pearls? What are micas? What are pigments? So they're all the same thing. They're, it's just a different word, just like car, automobile, same exact thing. So we're going to be talking about our interstellar pearls. What is so special about our interstellar pearls? So I'll tell you right now, it's a man-made synthetic zerelic pearl, completely clean. And here we have a space shape just to show you the spray out here. This is our interstellar red 100 grain. And we're going to talk about what that 100 is later on in this video. But the biggest thing is look at how clean this is. Interstellar pearls don't give you any dirty side tone. That means that when you look at the product or your project or your car, you don't see any brown spots or anything because that's what you see a lot in a lot of the stuff you see out there in the market. Everything that we offer is custom made. It's made just for us. So this is just a gorgeous color and you see how clean the flop, how clean the flop is and it doesn't turn yellow. Now, what's the difference between this product and our color pearls? Our color pearls are all automotive grade pigments. Now, that means you don't have to worry about them fading versus if you buy something at a hobby store or art supply store, those are great, right? For resin and stuff. But when it comes to having them exposed to the UV on your car, or your motorcycle, you really do run a risk for it to fade because there's a difference between automotive grade and non automotive grade that's considered industrial or art division. And that's a whole different animal. Now, this speed shape, we have it painted over white and over black. You can see on both sides. Now it's the same color all the way through. The difference is you can see the tone difference. This particular pigment, like most of our color pigments, they're not completely transparent, but they're not completely solid. They're a little bit opaque is the word where you can see it. It's taken over the primary color and it's giving you this effect. Now, this is what you see in a lot of these colors versus look at the translucent of this. This is the face. We're looking directly onto the face of this piece shape. I'm going to give you another example of a colored pearl. Now, this one's completely different. This is a, an aluminum metallic base pearl. Look at the difference between white and over black. You can't even tell the difference. Now, I'm looking at it here at the studio and I can maybe see half a shade lighter versus the black and white, but there's no big difference here. It's the same thing. They both have the same amount of pigment mixed into the inner coat and sprayed. So there's nothing changed. You can't say, well, this has more pigment mixed to get that full effect. No, it actually has the same amount. Everything here is the same amount across all three projects. So that tells you the big difference when it comes to our colored pearls, our interstellar pearls, and even our metallic pearls. And all these things have different characteristics and they spray different. All right, so one of the biggest thing is what is the difference between our pearls and what you find out there on the market? Um, so there's a lot of pigments you can find anywhere. You have stuff you can find at the hobby store, you have stuff you can find in, online, eBay, you name it. But the biggest difference is the warranty, the guarantee. This is all automotive grade level one and two A and B. I'm gonna explain all that to you. And what's the difference between what we have here in front of us and what you find on a mixing bank? So a lot of things on the mixing bank, you know, when you go buy a brand new pickup truck uh, or car at a dealership, you don't want it to pull up on the dealership, look at it, and it looks like a lowrider because it's so sparkly. And that's the biggest thing. Dealerships uh, don't like that because it doesn't equal to sales. Same thing. You, people just don't have an appeal to have a really flaked out sparkly car. They want the nice pearl effect, but they don't want nothing over the top. So in the OEM industry, they use uh, anywhere from a C a D biggest difference is that it's not as clean. It's uh, it has a little bit more of a dirty side tone. It's not so sparkly. The reflection is not there. And that's what they're looking for, where I'm in the opposite direction. I want more sparkle. I want more clean. I want the best of the best. So I'll go and pay it more for this ingredient to have it introduced and use it into our paint line. So the biggest thing is too, everything here is, like I said earlier on, it's an A or a B. You, pigments get graded between A and F, and they also get graded between one and seven. And that all depends on light fastness and the quality of sparkle, just like a diamond. The same exact concept is how pigments are graded because that's how it works. So we're going to talk about a little bit of the difference on sizes of pigments 
and what's what you find out there and the different effects that we're going to talk later on with different sizes of pigments of our pearls and what custom effects you can get with it. So here we have a great example here. I'm going to open up and this is our Interstellar 60. 60 micron has a really nice smooth effect to it. The 60 micron on the Interstellar, what's great about it, it's so clean at certain angles, you don't see it just completely disappears. And then at the right angle, you see the exact color, the blue that's coming through on it. So, and it's not dirty versus if this was something off a mixing bank, the mixing bank would have given you something like a, a milky eggshell side tone. And then you have to be careful. This stuff does not weigh anything. It will float very, very easily. This is our 100 micron and you can see the blue in it, but you can see how much the difference between the 60 and the 100, you can tell right there off the bat, the coarseness. And now we're going to open our 300 and give you an idea. Now the 300 is going to be the equivalent to a 004 metal flake and sparkle, maybe a hair smaller. And you can see there, that's the 300 and let's see if we can get all three here in the shot to show you big difference there and I'm gonna it's so hard to capture it but we're gonna see what we can do now copper penny is a 60 micron but copper penny is an aluminum based pigment and it has no transparency uh, characteristics it's an opaque pigment it'll actually cover up your project pretty well and these are things that you can actually add into different uh, base coats there's nothing you, you can add any of this stuff to your base coat now certain colors will require you to add a lot more Certain colors you can add a little bit and it goes a long way. So it all depends on what color you're using. Now, if you're very creative and you want to think outside the box, do it. Very important document what you're doing, because if you want to repeat that color again, you need to have some type of record for it. So we're going to open up another one here. This is stuck in the 80s pink. And you're going to see, look how fine that is. Look at the difference between these two. And they're both exactly the same thing. They're both 60 micron. That gives you an idea of different sizes. Now, later on in the video, we're going to talk about more in depth about the different effects you can uh, create with these uh, different sizes and the benefits of them. All right. So we have so many options when it comes to pearls, all depending what you want to do and the imagination you want to take. So the difference between our color pearls and our translucent pearls and the different effects you get all depends on what size, color, base, ground coat, you name it. Now I'm going to show you a couple of different examples of pearls shot over a metallic chameleon flake. This is a great example of a very 70s style inspired paint job. So I'm going to show you this gorgeous panel. It shot over one of our chameleon metal flakes. Now what's great is that you can see a combination of transparent pearls and colored pearls over the metal flake where you can kind of see how it's opaque on certain angles. Now this one right here is our interstellar red and you can see it's a, not as aggressive. It's a little bit more faint on it. This is our interstellar red over a gray and you can kind of see at certain angles. It's hard to capture on the film, but on certain angles I can see the gray perfect, right? I don't see any flop. And then at other angles, I see this gorgeous bronze red tone to it. So it all depends. Now, another thing that you have to know is that what size pearl you're going to use for your project. Pearls come in different sizes and it gives you a different effect. Changing the base also changes the effect too. So if you shoot over a dark base, like a black or dark gray, whatever, you don't need that much pearls because the reflection of light is so much more on the black that you're going to get full coverage way quicker. And it's going to give you this dark, rich base color. So look, good example. Look at the difference between black and white that we talked earlier on. Now, if you shoot over a white, you're going to most probably need to consume and add more pearls into our inner coat to get the effect that you want. So it varies from color and base. Air pressure also plays a big factor to it. And then size too, because different sizes are real smaller. You're going to get a real nice thin silky effect, or you can go to a bigger grain uh, or a bigger size pearl, and it's going to give you more sparkle effect. So that just gives you an idea. And the best thing I love about this is that there's no rules. It's all based on your imagination. How far does your imagination want to take you to create a one of a kind paint job? Guys, you just saw the video that we just talked about. We talked about our pearls, the difference between all our pearls and our products used together and all the amazing effects. Now, if you like what you see, do me a favor, like subscribe. Don't forget, check out our different social media platforms. We're on TikTok, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, everything under tropical glitz. 
And if you love what you see, check out our website, www.tropicalglitz.net. Till the next episode, this is Manny.